Hey, so yesterday we defined the app name, the app domain, and I created a logo for the application. And so this morning I made merchandising. <laughs> this is just a little dumb thing I did. We also have like this nice thing. Something like that. Okay, and we are ready to start today um, with the code. So I already mentioned the technology I want to use in this project. Um, we could use really uh, all sorts of things in the both in the front end and in the back end. We have a wide range of choices, and uh, the technology I want to use in this project is React, GraphQL. Node.js, of course. We are going to start with React today with uh, a brand new Create React App application. So let's start. So here is my terminal. The, I use the fish shell. So let me make a little digression here. I'm using the fish shell, which you can find on this website, fishshell.com. And this website is a prank. Uh, it's a joke. Uh, they say, like, watch out, Netscape Navigator, um, glorious VCA color. Mm. For those lucky few with the graphical computer, I really enjoy this kind of humor. I don't know, I'm strange, help me. <laughs> okay, we close this digression. And the fish shell is very nice because they have auto-completion and uh, it really comes with a lot of defaults that you don't have to configure and it's much nicer than Bash. What I want to do is I want to create a new create React app instance. So I'm going to my dev. So dev is just a folder I use for my projects. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to call a, create a new folder called, guess what, diary.lol. All right, so I can now move into that folder. Okay, so we have this diary.lol folder and what I'm going to do here is, this folder is empty now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new React application using create React app. And to do that, I'm going to use MPX, create React app, and I'm going to create this in a new folder, which I call frontend. Yeah, so I already imagine the project will be based on a static React application. We will generate a set of HTML, JavaScript, and CSS files that will be pushed probably on Netlify. It will be a static application, and we will have a, an API server listening somewhere, maybe on Heroku, maybe on Glitch, maybe on another service. I don't know yet. Um, we will see. The two will be linked using Apollo GraphQL. Let's now just focus on the front end, the React application. So I'm going to press enter. So npx is a command that ships with node. Well, it downloads the create react app package from the npm repository and immediately executes the command. So previously, like before npx existed, we would like have uh, said like npm install create react app global, a global installation. So then we would have like executed the create react app command locally and like this is inconvenient because um, you need to update sometimes this global command and you always forget about that right so the npx command downloads the latest version stable version of the command and it really helps keeping things up to date uh, so create react app tells us that uh, we can use the npm start command to start the development server 
the npm run build to bundle to create a bundle for the application which will be used later on for to ship to production we can use the npm test to execute the tests which by the way we will have a lot of tests at the end of the project we can eject the create react app application which is something we are not going to do now uh, because uh, we are going to use the defaults of create react app which make things much simpler so yeah we can do what create react app suggests so we cd into front end so we can already see that we are on a git um, repository and if we say that git status git log we can see that we already have like a commit message already one thing we can do now so is npm start so npm starts launches the browser the default browser on port 3000 which is the port of course used by the application and we can see that we already have a react application working which is pretty cool right so we can uh, see the application here and if we access this this ip here we can also uh, see this application on the on additional devices on the network for example here i opened this same application on the iPad. You can use your phone, whatever, right? If this helps you in some way. The React application here has basically taken control of the whole terminal. We can enter anything, like we can enter something, but we can't like ex execute anything. The shell is not responding to this command, so we can't like uh, do anything here and what you can do, you can press Ctrl Z. And as you can see here, the shell says job one npm start has stopped. We can now uh, type any command. What I want to do here is uh, start VS code on this folder. Okay, VS code has started. So as you can see now, the application is not responding anymore because, um, because the server stopped. Uh, so what we can do here is we can just type fg, which means foreground. Okay, so job one and pm start to foreground. And as you can see, the application is immediately loaded again. So the port is still working. The server is still working, but it does not respond. So let me try this again, control Z. And I try here, and as you can see the the spin the spinner is going nothing is turning and i say just foreground and it works uh, another thing you can do here is you can say like background and the project is working in the background so it's not take not it's not taking the whole shell here but like to then uh, like stop it you need to like call foreground again and then we can press Ctrl C to stop it. This is just some random Unix shell thing. Uh, okay, we can go back and say npm start again. So here is our React application, which is the thing that is working here, right? So, um, like one very simple way to figure out where like this text is entered, I can just search on the project. So this gives us this app.js file. So I'm moving with the keyboard shortcuts the in the in the in VS Code in the editor. So before I pressed Command Shift F to search something, and uh, like the you have the search here now. And to go back to the files view, I press Command Shift E. Okay, so um, Create React App provides us hot code reloading, which means that we can like uh, uh, enter something here, like hello, hello world, a proper hello world with a comma. So I save, and uh, this 
automatically reloads. I didn't reload it manually. I, it automatically reloads for us, which is pretty cool. So I can remove the link. Uh, yeah, you got the gist of it. This is the app.js file, which is the app component of the application. This component is like the only component of the application at the moment. And um, as you can see, this is loaded by the index.js file into the, it's rendered into the DOM. Uh, by the index.js file. So this is the starting point uh, that we are going to use from now on. And um, like I will end today's video with this. Uh, if you already know about React and create React app, I'm sure that this video was boring as hell, but if you don't, and if you're new to that, you already have a lot of things to like reason about. And uh, I also recommend you to check out my React handbook, which you can find on my website, and um, which is also linked here below in the description. And I have a post on the blog about this Create React app. I will not be making an introduction to React in this course, but I will just focus on the practical side of things. So that's it for today and see you tomorrow.